So today we're finally changing out this intake manifold on the Rodeo. So as you know, I've split the one I made a few times before, mainly because it's made out of 1.6 welded to the cast alley, so it's splitting right across that weld. But now we're pretty much gonna make a bomb proof one. I'll show you what we're gonna run with. So I managed to find these four mil alley bends. So four mil wall thickness, so that's plenty. Um, and I just got this 10 mil flat bar. So definitely won't be splitting that when I weld those together because I'll be able to get some heat and penetration into it. And yeah, that's what we've got so far. It's mainly been splitting across that join. So where the cast meets this sheet, because when I built this at the time, I only had 1.6 sheet in the shed, so that's what I used. And it's held up, other than along, the, along that seam. So, start by pulling this out and making a new one. So what style I want as well, is I pretty much want to run the back of the 90 across the back, so that's a curve, run it straight. The inside of that curve I cut off for the back, 90 will be in there, and then it will meet again to like a three inch pipe and there's infill panels both sides. So if you see like a RB style sort of plenum, it'll be similar to that, but standing upright instead of going out horizontal. So let's start with that. So I pretty much just got to pull this manifold off. So to do that, just loosen the brackets for these heater hoses. You got to undo all the injector lines at the injectors and down at the pump. So inject lines were actually run through the manifold so they could fully come out and undo the bolt for that dipstick. Once you do that, there's eight bolts that hold the manifold to the head and also undo this clamp, slide the silicon, and then we'll be able to pull that manifold straight off, put it on the bench and we can start cutting it up. So manifold's off, so I'm just gonna cut pretty much around that weld and then just straight across there, make it all square. Um, get rid of the top, start again. So I'll just cut that off now and then we'll start cutting up this elbow. So I'll pretty much cut it through there, cut like that on both sides. So it'll be like, that'll be one half then the inner and the outer will be another half. And that'll be going on the plenum, but I'll explain that when we get to it. So yeah, I'll just hack that up now. So that's the manifold split, cut in half. So that top half's now just pretty much in the bin. We'll be using this. So what I'm basically gonna do is, see it's the manifold, we're gonna come out like that, so they'll be straight. And out like that, that's really it. So that'll be the three inch 90 there, the outer part, 
That'll be the inner part of the three inch 90. So we'll join back there, back to three inch from there. Um, Cause they'll be split like that. That's what the cut will look like. Like that. So this bit here, I need to make infill panels for. So pretty much got to cut up that now. And out of that 10 mil will be the infill panels. Um, did want six mil flat bar, but the shop didn't have any, they only had 10 mil. So 10 mil it is, and it's a lot stronger at least, so I won't be blowing this apart. So I've cut that U in half, and now I've got a 90. So basically that's it. I might go a bit lower with it, but um, that's the shape, except I've just got to cut that down there. Got to follow that. So it's just the outer bit that sits on the manifold like that. And then that inner bit that gets cut out is in there. So yeah. moment I'm just put the manifold back in the car and I'm just going to work out my height for this so I don't want too high it hits the bonnet like it did last time make some bit of clearance for the bonnet so I'm just going to make it a bit lower so I measured that pretty much gap underneath it of about 70 mil if I make it that it should be perfect so that's pretty much how it's going to look so it's nice and curved good flow and then um the French on the out and I'll have to redesign this pipe that runs down to the intercooler, but that'll be pretty easy. So do the manifold first, then we'll do that intercooler pipe. So we're starting to take shape with this intake. So we got that outer piece tacked on. That's the inner piece that goes there. So this bit that I'm holding on to, we, that'll be cut shorter. And then just the infill panel for pretty much the holes that are left out of that flat bar. So yeah, it's getting there. So I just gonna tack this front piece on now, get it all sitting right, measure up, we'll trace what we've got in the middle and cut that out and tack that in as well and then pretty much weld it all up. intake sitting in the car at the moment so I'm just working out where I'm going to put this reducer so that's two and a half inch to three inch that's all three inch into all the pipes two and a half so hopefully that can sit about there and then we'll go from there 
down that hole down there to the intercooler which looks pretty easy to, to make from now so I might just get this bit of three inch stub shorten it a bit weld that to there so the re silicon reducer can go over the top and that's really it and then we just got to do these side infills weld it all out and that's one platinum made so just work on these infill panels now so that's the shape there we want basically all I did was sit that on there and just traced it so pretty easy way so I'll cut that one out and then flip this over mark the other side cut that out tack them in and then weld it up in some boost um, barbs so I'll put in four of them so I've got lots of references and yeah we'll put it back in the car so that's the new plenum all bolted in so I'll explain what I've done with these here so that's my intake air temp that's the JRP gauge I have inside that's the plug so I'll just make that fit there boost compensator boost lines so that's this one I'll cut that and put that into the big barbs that's just straight from there to there and the little barb under there, that's for the boost gauge, which is here. So I'll cut that one, put that one into there. And around the other side, I have two more. So the big one is gonna run to the external gate and the little one, that's just a spare for now. So I'll just block that off. So yeah, that's it. Got to do the intercooler pipe still. So just be a 90 from there with the reducer and it should be another 90 straight into there, I'm hoping. So after that, that's pretty much it. So that's it, final product. Plenum's in, everything's all hooked up and the intercooler pipe is made. So hopefully with the air intake temp sensor, which I have there, I'll be able to see how well this intercooler is working. So yeah. Mm -hmm.